Welcome back folks. I'm just going to have a go planting my garlic. Uh, I'm a bit late doing it. But I've saved all these cloves from all my own garlic. So I need to get them in. I just started chitting. So I'm going to crack on and do this. So what I've done with my marker, I put them 6 inches apart and 12 inches between the rows. Now I'm just going to push them down. The variety is Marco. Right, let's put those in. Uh, I've got 11 in a row, times 8, so that's 88. I'm just going to cover them back up. Hopefully the birds don't see them to peck. That's done the garlic. Um, I'm just going to get my spring cabbage now. Makes life easy this. Shame you can't get them no more. Right, got myself a steak with no chips. Let's see how this goes. Perfect. I don't know what varieties I got. They're both spring cabbage. I think one might be Durham early and the other could be April. I'm not sure. I 
perhaps we're not labelling. Right, I'm going to bring you back in a minute, folks, when I've finished these. Right, there we go. It's 48, I'll put in there. So that's me spring cabbage planted. And these are in me no dig beds where I've been planting in. And then this string, I can put a piece of net over the top and stop the pigeons. So that's tomorrow's job. I've got the net already cut, it's over here, look. And I need to start cleaning this bed out. I've got to dig all that chard out in there, planting my garlic in the raised beds. So this morning I got up early, we had a lot of rain last night um, I've just come down and planted my other broad beans and I'll just show you where I put them Okay, I put them in there this morning, a bit wet and mudgy so I'm taking the chances they come up and not rot off Right, so I put another row of garlic in here when I've peeled the sheep back I've got quite a few of these look Mr Mole's been under there so his worms must be in there so he's come for that so I've probably got another 60 odd of garlic in there right so this is where I have my muck and you can see it's underwater, it's all squishy squelchy. So when I come down this morning, Mr Crow had been here pecking my beans up, so I had to put this debris netting on. So my broad beans had come up, I think it was four or five that he pulled out. So I might put some in some trays just to jot them in if I've got any misfires. Right, I'm going to pull myself some Christmas veg. Right, let's get ourselves a carrot. Oh, what a beauty. That it just split. Right, we're going to get ourselves some parsnips now. Right, we're going to get ourselves some parsnip. I tried to do this one hand, didn't try and film it, so it's a bit difficult. That is for me, they're not so big this year. I don't mind. out oh it's long would it that not that big get myself another one or two I'll try and get them in earlier next year and then get some better ones
Beauties. Right, sprouts next. Ourselves a nice swede. These are all in the no dig bed, but hopefully the bed will be better next year. I'll have to put you down when I do me leaks, so I'll bring you back in a bit. Right, here we go. Here's my veg for Christmas dinner. Nice leeks. I have got the odd allium minor thing in them, the leek moth. You can see where they've been down there. So it goes orange as well when they've been in there. Some nice parsnips, not so big as usual. Nice tweed. I think that variety of that's tweed. Uh, sweet candle carrot and me sprouts. I forgot what variety they are. Lovely. Right, that's going to do for this one. Thank you all for subscribing, commenting, much appreciated. And so, till next year, ta ra, and have a happy Christmas and a happy new year. So, bye everybody.